Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. So today I'm going to show you how to easily post your sphere photos taken using the Pana mode in the DJI Go 4 app onto Facebook to appear as an interactive 360 photo. So instead of having this flat photo appear on Facebook, you'll get this. Okay, so the fastest way is all done on your phone. However, if you want to spruce up your image, I'd recommend using your computer. Now this workflow assumes you've already downloaded the stitched sphere photo onto your device. I am using my iPhone, but the general workflow should work for Android devices as well. Alright, so let's go and get started here. So on the phone you have to first process the sphere photo. So open Safari and go to this site called 360facebook.com. Now before I go on, I did try Google Chrome, but it would not allow me to download the process photo to my device, but perhaps that will work with Android devices. So touch on the box in the middle there that says drop image here or click to upload. Go to your photo library, and then go ahead and touch on the photo that was downloaded from your DJI Go 4 app. Now it starts processing the image, just takes a few seconds here. Okay, and now the processed image is showing up on the screen. And then down in the bottom there, go ahead and click on that icon to save the photo down to your device. So switch over to Facebook. And then click on photo there, of course. And there at the top you see the image with the 360 icon, so you know that's going to upload properly into Facebook. Okay, and then you go ahead and select the starting viewpoint. Of course put a little description there. And then post. All right, there you go. Now touch on the screen again and you get full screen mode. And if you rotate your device, you'll get the landscape mode. All right guys, so that is it. Please hit that like button if you found this video helpful. And of course I've got a lot more videos coming up, so go ahead and subscribe if you like. Happy flying, bye.